I think I need to clear this up. Hey, what's up you guys? Happy Friday and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here or haven't yet already, hit the subscribe button and the bell below to, you know, subscribe and get post notifications, duh. My social media is also linked below and give this video a thumbs up. I don't know what else there is because I just woke up. As you can tell, my messy hair and puffy face. So, I'm a little mad right now because everyone keeps saying the same thing to me. So, I'm going to clear that up in one second. And also, I would like to say thank you guys so much for getting the googly eyes video to over 1500 views and um hopefully by the time this is posted um because i'm almost there in total my channel will hopefully have 2500 views so yay and I appreciate you and I thank you so very much. I had to get the light because this is serious and I want you to see my face. Okay. I'm not an attention whore, okay? The reason I did the googly eyes video is not for the views. I honestly didn't even get views when I posted it. Um, so, obviously it was a big turning point in my YouTube career or whatever. Um, I didn't post it for the views though. I did it because I seen it online and I wanted to try it. I don't do anything for views. I'm not going to be purposely doing these videos just for the views. That's not why I'm doing them. I'm doing them for fun. Um, I'm not. Trust me, I've gotten some weird requests for videos. Like, um, one guy told me to be completely naked and, um, only cover as much as I can with my hands. No. No, no. No. I'm not. No. The reason I do these videos is for me, for fun, and hopefully, you know, you enjoy them. And maybe, you know, one day it turns into something more that'd be great. But I don't see that happening. It's just for fun it's keeping me busy because I do nothing <laughs> so please stop calling me an attention or I do not do this for that I do not care Hold on, I'm in the light. I can't even see myself I do not care what you think of me I know who I am I'm just saying, like, stop requesting videos where I'm naked. It's not going to happen. The recreating sexy Instagram posts only happened because I wanted to try it, and I did. Not because it was requested. Not because I thought it would get views. If I did everything for views, then, um, all my videos I would be <sighs> naked or doing something, like, sexy. And that's not how it is, because you've seen I do videos singing, I do videos with my cousin, who is nine, by the way. So, obviously, um, it's not that kind of channel okay it's not like that I don't know what you guys want from me 
I'm just being honest here. I'm not that girl. That doesn't mean there won't be more videos like that. But I'm doing it on my terms. And I'm picking the content. Obviously, it's not going to be covering as much as I can with my hands type of video. I am considering doing a part two to the sexy Instagram post just because that video I wanted more in it. I just couldn't do it myself. In the amount of time I allowed myself to do that video and that's why I want to do a part two is because there's more content that I want to do and um you know I still have those googly eyes and if I do bring them back it's not going to be the exact same video it's not going to be like that I'll probably make like a stuffed animal type of thing with them eventually I think that's what I want to do but I don't know I kept them so I obviously wanted to do something with them but just so we're on the same page my personal feelings are my body it's my choice it's my channel it's my choice and I'm putting out content for me to enjoy 20 years from now so I can make fun of myself for putting googly eyes on my boobs or kissing a stranger and like why why would you do that I don't know I'll find out in 20 years when I'm hopefully you know telling stories to my kids like your mom used to be a weirdo I'm sure you see me online <laughs> And, um, it's Friday for me now, so the vlog hasn't even gone up yet. But, I already know that I'm going to get a message saying, why were you crying at the end of the video? And I'm also going to explain that. Because I guess this is an explaining video, since why not? So, I know I've told you guys that I lost a child. And Mother's Day was Sunday. It's Sunday. I haven't experienced that yet. I told you it's Friday. Anyway. Um, so when I was writing the Mother's Day letter to my mom, I was like card, you know. I was thinking that and also... I also realized I had that to my parents song um, stuck in my head and I just realized that like I should be I should be I almost dropped my phone I should be somewhere in a better place already and I'm mad at myself and sad that I'm not in a like in that state of mind already so, I don't know, I guess I was just like in my feels about why I'm not 20 times better than I was this time last year. I am better. I am. I, but I'm not as good as I should be or I feel like I should be. And I know that it's a mental thing and you can't push yourself. But I want, I wanted to be in a better place by now. So, I guess that's really why. I honestly think this is the vlog. Like, um, I know Mother's Day is, um, Sunday. But, I guess you're just gonna have to wait until next week's vlog. Because I talked this whole vlog. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to. You know, it's good to just have a talk, talk to talk every once in a while. I'm talking to a camera, but I'm talking to you. I'm trying to look at the thing. It's a really bright light. I'm sorry. Okay. 
I just woke up. And my eyes are puffy. And my face is puffy. And my... I'm breaking out. Oh my god. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, is there anything else I wanted to say? If you guys are ever in a bad spot, just know that someone out there cares about you. And don't, like, hurt yourself or take your life or, you know, cut, you know, that, that goes along with hurting yourself. Um, don't take a bunch of pills and try to die. Don't do it because you, it will get better and, you know, if you need something to do instead of cutting your right on yourself it works it works for me I don't know if it'll work for you but you can color on yourself too you know draw a pretty picture um so if you ever see writing on my wrist that's I was in a bad place <laughs> I know it was in one video a few months ago I don't know. I was in the bathroom during it. I don't know if you can see it on my wrist. I didn't really pay much attention. But it said stay strong and this one says don't cut. So just so you know, if you ever see writing on my wrist, don't freak out. I'm okay. Like, I'm not. But I have people that I go to. My sister is awesome. I love her. And, um, you know, you just need someone you can always turn to who will tell you that you're good and fine and it's not worth it. So don't do it. <laughs> and I can't promise that I will reply, but you can always message me if you need somebody to talk to. I will try my bestest to reply I know I suck at replying my phone is super slow and so many people message me on snapchat and stuff so I'm sorry but but I do care about each and every one of you watching my videos so thank you so much again I love you um and I will try to be there for you if you do need me. I think I think I'm done being emotional. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will see you Monday. Um, hope everyone's Mother's Day was good. Um, hopefully, um, I get some footage this week for next week because I know my videos have been lacking this one's gonna be super long I'm sorry and don't forget if you haven't already to subscribe and hit the bell um, my social media is linked down below message me if you need me um like I said I will try sorry if that's something in my eye I will really really try to help you the best of my ability but I suck so find a support system. Love you. Thank you for watching. I've, I'm done talking. Bye.